Okay, this is my next video. I'm Jenny, and we're calling these death or dentures because everybody seems to have a name for their videos. And I kind of like that, it's catchy. Everybody's afraid of death, but I was more afraid of not having teeth. I already previously talked about having the top left teeth removed and then the top right teeth removed. The next session I had to have was these bottom teeth here that had a hole from where one tooth was out and then right next to it, it had a post in it. But when they put in the post, the bone graft that they put in to go from the post to the other side of that hole that was empty, because they were gonna put another post in there, did not take. The bone graft kept coming out. And back then it was actually a piece of bone. So we were gonna give it a break, go back to that dentist in about six months. And when I did, he was re retired and gone. So I just said, forget it. I, I was having issues with dentist anyway. So this time when we, my really good dentist went to take these teeth out, there were two in the back, plus the empty spot and the post, and then one. So I had three teeth and a post. It was just a mess. That post probably came out easier than the other teeth. Did not have to have stitches on this side, but I already had a really deep hole. And the holes seemed even deeper than I thought the top ones did. The post came out really easy because it was unscrewed, but the pain from where the post was, because of the way it was, you know, screwed into the bone and then the bone healed around the post, just really painful when it was healing. And I was talking to a friend and I told her, I said, I really do not want to live with this kind of pain. And she said, there's this vein that goes through your face and down your neck. It's, it's, it's like a dental vein. People don't talk about it, but it, when that vein gets woke up or that nerve, I think is what it's called as a nerve, gets woke up, it makes people want to die. The pain is so bad. Another reason why a lot of people say dental pain is the worst ever, and I'm totally in agreement with that now. So my left side on the bottom, the worst, even worse than the top up here that had 10 stitches. So I kept thinking, I've got to talk to somebody. I need to know that I'm not going to kill myself tomorrow because I can't handle this pain. And I did. I talked to a great, wonderful girl, Milo. And she is, I shouldn't say she, because she is a non-binary. It's a great person. And I love Milo dearly. And Milo told me how hard it was for her with, well, for them with the dental problems they had. And explained to me different things that I could do, applesauce, yogurt, baby food, just the little things that could make life a little easier. Told me where to go shopping at this local Sprouts store where I could, they had a great selection of baby food. I could get some probiotic sodas if I wanted soda, seltzer sodas to help me with my stomach. I mean, food was not appetizing at this point because I'd lost both my right and left upper teeth and now my bottom left teeth. So I couldn't imagine eating with just one row of teeth down here and my front teeth. You'd be surprised what you can eat with front teeth though. Another video. But Milo saved my life because I could talk to people that were close to me, but they didn't know how bad it was, how bad the pain really was. And I'm not sure if that dentist hit that nerve or the nerve was close or whatever, but whatever he hit or did, probably no fault to his own, I was not handling it well. And as being a woman and seeing all these videos with men or the women that are doing the videos are all in makeup and it's been months since they've had that pain or issue and they're not touching on it like I think it needs to be touched on. I seriously thought I was either gonna die or I was gonna kill myself. The pain was that bad. And I can't even express how much I would talk to somebody or I'd look at Facebook and I'd send somebody a funny video I saw. And just the fact that they responded and said, how are you doing, kept me here because I knew that the people I was in touch with on Facebook, even if I didn't call them, I was letting everybody know, hey, I'm having dental work done. It's, I'm miserable. 
and they were checking back with me and that made so much difference in my recovery on getting through all of this and it's important to check in on people and I'm that person who won't tell you when it's bad I'll just try to get through it and for me that's usually the whole thing yeah it's bad it, things are fine it's fine it's always fine yes the house is on fire but it's fine that's me I need that shirt so I'm gonna cut this video off because I don't want my videos to be long or drawn out so now we've had three quadrants done and now we're gonna go on to the video where I had the front teeth removed top and bottom and put in the molds for the denture and the bridge and again this is death by dentures or death or dentures still trying to figure that one out but I'm trying to do these videos so they're short and sweet and fast and while I'm still going through this crap thank you